the, the three little pigs story and this belongs to me and you the three little pigs once there were three little pigs they lived happily with their mother until the day came for them to make their own way in the world goodbye bye mom goodbye mom said the three little pigs we will call you as soon as we can they hadn't gone far when the three little pigs decided to stop for a picnic where are we gonna to live the little girl pig asked her brothers then one of the little boy pigs saw a farmer with a cartload of straw perfect house building material said the little pig and he bought the whole load the little pig soon built his straw house suddenly he heard a voice outside say let me in little pig it was a hungry wolf not by the hair on my chinny chin chin replied the little pig then i will huff and i'll puff and i'll blow your house down the wolf blew down the house of straw but the little pig managed to escape Two other little pigs carried on their way until they met a woman with a huge load of sticks the second little boy pig bought the sticks and built a house then along came the big bad wolf he knocked at the door of the stick house let me in little pig let me in but the second little pig said not by the hair on my chinny chin chin puff and i'll puff and i'll blow your house down as the house of sticks was blown down sticks flew everywhere hitting the wolf on the head the second little pig made his getaway he ran off as fast as he could to find his brother and sister now the little girl pig had bought a load of bricks and set about building a strong sturdy house she worked very hard and soon the house was ready the little pig was very pleased with herself home sweet home third little pig settled into her new home but soon there was a knock at the door it was her brothers bang bang the boy pig told her sister about the big bad wolf together they came up with a plan and i will huff and i'll puff and i'll blow your house down and the wolf huffed and puffed and puffed and huffed but the brick house was very strong inside the three little pigs put a big pot of water on the fire here to soon board. there was another knock at the door the third little pig peeked out of the window it was the big bad wolf little pig little pig let me in not by the hair on my chinny chin chin yeah. escape called the wolf and he clambered onto the roof and began to climb down the chimney he he but the three little pigs were ready for him the huge pot of water in the fireplace was bubbling away it was a huge splash as the wolf fell into the pot of bubbling water Splish, splash, splash. Hooray, the three little pigs cheered. The big bad wolf is dead. The little pigs lived happily ever after in the house of bricks. The end.